directly affect uh, people of all sorts. You know, uh, people that are on the computers a lot, people that do hard, heavy labor. Uh, most common risk problems that people will experience are, as you've heard, carpal tunnel. Another problem which happens right in here, which is a deltoid cartilage problem. Uh, common symptoms of carpal tunnel would be numbness, weakness in the hand, but it will not be the entire hand, it will be part of the hand. Then, generally speaking, it will be this finger, the thumb, here, the third finger, and half of the ring finger. Okay? The pain will start up right in the crease, right at the carpal area, and uh, there will be severe weakness grip weakness, so people that are experiencing carpal tunnel, a lot of them will not be able to grip a pen or lift something up. So, uh, and this is a problem that in modern medicine, you know, uh, commonly treated with uh, surgery. Okay, however, uh, there are other alternatives that you can do, uh, which, uh, which you don't have to have surgery. Okay, so the median nerve which comes out from your neck, okay, and it comes down the arm, enters into the carpal tunnel right in here, okay? And it distributes into three fingers and half of the ring finger, okay? And now once there is a wrist injury and the carpal tunnel swells up, what will happen is the, the median nerve will get compressed or, contra or, or trapped in this area, okay? Which will give you the symptoms. If the problem persists for a long period of time, that's when people will wind up getting weakness in the grip, okay? So, uh, in Chinese medicine, we use acupuncture, herbs, twina to treat this problem, okay? The second problem that commonly happens, happens right in this area. Now, this is a problem that uh, a lot of people like plumbers, people that do heavy labor, or boxers, or fighters, or, you know, athletes that use their hands a lot will get it. And this is a, injury to the deltoid cartilage which is right in this area okay and uh, once the cartilage is injured a lot of people will have a very hard time supinating and pronating the wrist okay they will not be able to hold something because this will be very painful the thing is you know once uh once you understand what the problem is of course there's a variety of other problems that can happen in the wrist too you can have fractures you can have the fractures of the little carpal bones but uh, they're not as common. So once you do have the problem, okay, just like we have a treatment for twin carpal tunnel with twin and acupuncture, you can use similar treatments for any kind of wrist, uh, wrist pain or deltoid carpal sprain, okay? And of course, some injuries require rest, okay? Generally speaking, when there's a sprain or strain, you would have to lay off of it for at least, uh, at least a week in order for the body to be able to heal itself, okay? However, chronic injuries, people that have a chronic problem long period of, for a longer period of time, they do need to uh, exercise the area and move the area because there's lack of blood in the area which does not allow the body to heal. So by exercising, by doing acupuncture, by doing twin A, and by using Chinese herbs, topical herbs, you can, uh, you, you promote low grades of inflammation and what that does, it brings in a lot of blood flow to the area which helps your body heal. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of Twina uh, in order to help him with this, uh, with this problem. Now, in Chinese medicine, uh, we don't just treat the area that's hurt, we also treat below, uh, below or above the problem. Why? Because you wanna make sure that all the muscles and all the tendons that pass through get work enough so so the circulation uh, reestablishes itself okay so uh, what I would do is I would put a little bit of gel okay and uh, I would lightly massage the gel in okay going way above the problem okay relax your hand now with a lot of people that you treat with carpal tunnel, okay, you will have severe pain on the medial, medial side of the elbow, 
So when you do press it, there will be a lot of soreness in that area, okay? Then you would literally start working it down. The meridian that passes through this area is called the pericardium, uh, pericardium meridian. This is the area that we will be working. Okay, and all of this designed to loosen up the muscles, loosen up the tendons, and clear swelling in order to free the nerve. Now what I'm performing right now is some circular pressing. I'm also applying some pressure and pushing. Okay. Once I work the muscle above, I would go right to the wrist and I would start working the area. The area I would initially I would just use circular pressing. And what this does, this uh, helps the body to push the swelling away and to reabsorb some of the swelling. Next technique we would use is slipping. This is called mass slipping. And same thing, you know, this is done to push the fluid outside the carpal tunnel. We'll do some rolling, okay? What this does is my thumb is like a little roller, okay? So what I do is roll. Every time I roll, it pushes the swelling and it it brings in new flow, new blood flow. And when we're talking about the blood flow, we're talking about microcirculation here. We're not talking about uh, we're talking about the circulation that nourishes the tissue. If it gets dry, you know you can add a little more. can apply a little bit of traction to the joint. That's it. This would be straightforward, very simple. This is something that you can actually do at home by yourself. Uh, uh, triangular fibrocartilage complex. This is where the pain it's right here and the swelling will be right in this area actually this is where the swelling would be so same thing we would apply a little bit of gel okay and work the entire area you know would start out with the ex um, extensor muscles those are the muscles that extend your wrist back And some people, when they do twin out, they like to use the twin out first, and in the end they would use the gel. Some people like to use the gel with the twin out. It really doesn't matter, as long as you're using it, you know, and you're allowing it for the penetration, for the for the ingredients, for the herbs to get to the area where they do what they're supposed to do. Now the area that I'm working right now in Chinese medicine, this is the Sanjiao, the triple burner meridian. Okay, and this is something that starts right in here and it goes up this way. Okay, I would use mass slipping. Once again, this is to realign all the little things that are right here that might be out. Little joints, you know, little bones.
I would apply a little bit of traction and I would use rolling Rolling is a very common method that's applied in Twina. Uh, it's pretty much applied for all cases, all conditions. Okay, then we would try to loosen up joint. And initially when people are in a lot of pain, you might avoid this particular thing because it might be too painful. But once there is no pain, by all means, you need to do it because you need to mobilize the joint. And this is rotation. Okay.